so a point that uh, these juxtapositions between what you're thinking if you're walking down the street and what you see, that was exactly uh, what I was uh, introducing. You see, life is a cut-up. Every time you walk down the street or look out the window, your consciousness is cut by random uh, factors, and then you begin to realize that they're not so random, that this is saying something to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you someone who believes, you know, rather like um, Arthur Kersler, you know, the idea of coincidence almost revealing a web of reality? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. yes. There's no such thing as coincidence. But when you'd actually done, on a literary level, you'd reassembled your own work, other people's work and so on, surely then you select. Oh, absolutely. It's not just so random that you say, there are a hundred pages, publish. You... Oh, oh, absolutely, no. That's, uh, you're trying to um, sell raw material instead of a finished product. Mm -hmm. I may make a, a cut-up. I don't do it too often anymore. No. And out of uh, ten pages, use a sentence. So you simply wait until coincidence gives you something artistically good in Absolutely. your terms. Absolutely. Oh, I see. So you use coincidence not just to be random, but as a tool of the artist. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. Yeah. You mentioned T.S. Eliot earlier because he had a similar background to you in a sense. Um, you once said the wasteland was the first cut-up. You didn't mean that literally, that he cut it up, but do you mean it read as if it was a cut-up? It, uh, it read as if it was a cut-up. Now, see, take um, a little bit here and a little bit here from this, uh, all kinds of different uh, sources, and assembled them into a sort of a montage or tapestry. Mm. Uh, of course, they were very carefully selected, mm. but there was that element of, that was what gave it this element of surprise. Yes. Because when you were at Harvard, you did your uh, English literacy degree, didn't you, uh, 36? Wasn't Eliot there uh, lecturing, wasn't he? He For was. Sure. He was, yes. He gave a seminar. I didn't attend it. <laughs> well, I, wasn't, I didn't, wasn't into writing at that time at all. See, I didn't write anything until I was 35. Mm. Not quite. I, there were some uh, efforts uh, prior to that. Uh, but I didn't hear him lecture. You didn't? I did hear oh, him lecture, did. yes. He's a very good speaker. Yes. Very good speaker, indeed. But you, obviously, you admire the work. Oh, yes. The Wasteland. Very much. But is it not so much... Uh, one thing, it looks a little bit like a cut-up. But another thing about it is that it's got this kind of decadent city feel. The decline of our civilization. Almost. Is that what attracts you as well? No, partly, but it's, um, I don't know, I find myself using quotations from Eliot uh, in my work mm. all the time, like that um, uh, a piece that I read sometimes on the uh, nuclear uh, situation. Hurry up, please, it's time. Hurry up, please, it's time. Mm.